what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here in this video we're going to be talking about kale weathers and where she's gone as far as her character over the last decade since we last saw her in the events of screen four so we know in screen four gail weathers was kind of in a rut when it came to her career she wasn't in the spotlight the way she was back in the original trilogy with the whole woodsboro killing spree and you know that book she wrote uh the woodsboro murders but off author of the woodsboro murders by gail weathers that was her claim to fame in the sequel in the third movie she just loved touting about that and she just loved touting about the fact that she was such a pivotal i want to say just a pivotal she played a pivotal role in that whole ordeal that happened in the original trilogy and you know the the series that spawned off of uh the events of scream in the actual universe itself stab based off of her book so she is kind of in a slump in screen four because her career seems to be on a downward spiral in terms of being in the being in being in pop culture being at the same status as she once was she doesn't seem to be doing much of anything she's watching sydney on her computer at one point or her tv in a way i think it was her tv and she's just listening to sydney talk about her book out of darkness and then she starts typing she doesn't know what to write yada 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 she's very frustrated and you know there's those relationship issues she's having with dewey who she feels is not letting her in so that's also undermining her as a journalist and her past work as a reporter because she's now not only do you feel down about where you used to be when it comes to that but then you have someone shutting you out as if you're not familiar with this field or how to track down murders how to solve murders etc etc so in screen five and i and I, I did talk about this in my last video or one of my previous videos where there's a scene in the bookstore when sydney's talking about her book out of darkness to promote it uh gail's kind of off in the shadows not in the shadows but you get me she's off to the side kind of sulking she wants to be happy for sydney but at the same time sydney's success is reminding her her of her own current position where she feels like she's useless when it comes to journalism and she feels like she can't offer anything anymore so my natural progression here would be what if gail weathers and sydney prescott teamed up to write a book i already talked about this idea when it was just sydney having written another book over the course of the last decade but what if she wrote this book with gail weathers so she of course took note of the fact that gail was down or gail probably came to sydney about the fact that she was down about her current career down about how her career is going in terms of journalism so sydney being you know more mature and gail as well because they both were very we know how that relationship started i feel like that would be a very fitting conclusion or not conclusion but a very fitting progression of this relationship between them where they now come together now both having some experience when it comes to being published authors they have a history when it comes to uh the fact that gail of course blamed blamed sydney for how cotton ended up in a position that he ended up in if she felt that cotton was innocent the whole time sydney was very adamant that cotton was guilty she checked her one time at one point in the film reminded her no you saw someone wearing that jacket and every time i watch that scene now i'm like oh oh my she's just she's just trying to clear cotton's name like that and she's she's like really coming for sydney in that moment i'm just like she was really feeling herself in that moment in my opinion that's just my opinion when i get, look at that scene where she's trying to remind her no you saw someone wearing that jacket i'm like wow gail she has no remorse and she's very confident in what she's saying the same way sydney's confident that it was cotton but then notice how sydney had nothing to say i kind of went off on a tangent there but getting back into it i feel like these two writing a book together would be a very very positive natural progression if that happens i wouldn't be surprised um i think it would be very cool to see them having written a book maybe based off of what happened in screen four maybe them just kind of sharing tidbits of maybe things that have happened in the past and how they're self-reflecting now the same way sydney was self-reflecting about her story and out of darkness gail probably could be coming in and adding on to it in a way i don't know what the book would even be about i just think that these two characters writing a book together us learning that they wrote a book together in screen five wouldn't be too far-fetched i think it would be a very fitting progression and i think this would be something that of course would bring them closer together because the other thing that i'm also confident that is going to bring them together is the death of dewey riley uh many of us are already expecting there to be trouble in paradise amongst dewey and gail in screen five 
where this trouble in par paradise is stemming from this time who knows keywords that i just utilized here was this time these two always have trouble in paradise if outside of the first film each subsequent sequel there's something going wrong with this relationship and it's not that i don't want to say they're toxic for each other but it's just you know they have it's like the the downward habits of their relationship tend to always be highlighted i never really understood that i never really understood why well they do go, they do a good job of highlighting the good and the lows of their relationship i think it makes them honestly a more realistic couple because not every relationship is going to be just always you're on the up and up you will have your lows but it's just i feel like a lot of people in the fandom we want these two to be together so bad as characters because you know they're not actually together anymore in real life that when we see them bickering it's kind of like here we go again what's wrong now and i don't think anyone should be shocked that there were probably there's probably going to be bickering from them again in screen five i just feel like that's just that's their shtick at this point that's a common thing that it's kind of it's it's in the dna of these screen sequels what's going on with dewey and gail what are they fighting about now and how are they going to resolve it by the end of the film because we're not expecting them to break up but what if this time of course they break up they get a divorce that's probably what's going to happen um i just i just think honestly with this whole gail weathers character and where she could be because i've already done a theory about her possibly being the killer any of my previous videos about that her being the killer her having a role in the ghostface killing sprees not to say that i would personally be against it i just now many months later after learning more things about what they're going to do in screen five as you guys have i don't know or see a reason for her to be the killer anymore in this film and i can't really see it happening now that i also keep in mind the fact that they want to honor Wes craven's legacy i'm starting to be more along in the camp of if they do that that's not really honoring his legacy making one of the og characters a killer now i don't think that would be respectful to him but if they did it i know their intentions weren't to be disrespectful but yeah i know the fandom would have a different opinion and probably want to cancel them but those are my thoughts on where I see Gail Weathers. I see her writing a book with Sydney Prescott, and I see those two just growing together as peers and published authors together. I think that would be a very nice change of pace in this relationship. I think it's a natural progression for them. Let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications and members of the video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.